Are we closer to a new government deal now, given today's deadline? Good morning, Nera. Well, it's been three weeks since the government crisis erupted here in Italy and the negotiations between the Five Star and the PD continue. Now, we understand that under this new coalition, and I must really stress, this is not a done deal yet. Giuseppe Conte would stay as Premier. Matteo Salvini would be forced out of office. But the crucial bit here is that there would be no new election. There would be no early election. And the market likes this. They also like the idea that perhaps this new coalition would be more inclined to to work with Brussels than the previous one, where obviously we saw some very rocky tension between the two of them. But the talk stalled yesterday. The problem here is who is going to get what uh, job in this new coalition. And of course, the very final word will come down to Sergio Mattarella. That is the president of the Italian Republic. And he was very clear. Today is a hard deadline. They either come up with a new majority or Italy will go to new elections. Uh, Maria, good to see you this morning. What is Salvini's game plan now? It, it looks like a big defeat for the Deputy Prime Minister if that deal comes to, comes to pass. It does look like a big defeat. And the question now is, where did everything, where does all go wrong for Matteo Salvini, who was polling close to 40 percent just three weeks ago? And many here will tell you he just completely read the whole situation wrong. He called the election. He pulled the plug on this coalition too early, halfway through the summer, perhaps should have waited until the return of parliament activity in the fall. And the thing is, Matteo Salvini, the prospects look very, very weak at this point. Not only is he losing support, if you look of the new polls, but he could also go home empty-handed, be forced out of office. And of course, there was that tweet from President Trump who said at this point he hopes that it's Conte who stays in office.